preventable tragedy. Because a child traveling to Chicago as part of Texas's migrant busing program died during the trip, according to a Friday afternoon statement from the Texas Division of Emergency Management and the Texas Tribune wrote that the Chicago Tribune reported that the three year old child died on Thursday when the bus was entering Chicago. The Illinois Department of Public Health confirmed to the newspaper that the state agency is investigating the death. The Texas Division of Emergency Management said that after the child's health began deteriorating, the bus pulled over and an ambulance was called. The child was taken to a local hospital where they died. TDEM statement did not include information about the child's age, gender, or nationality. The agency said that all of the passengers in the bus were processed by US Customs and Border Protection in the city of Brownsville, which included a temperature check and medical screening. No passenger had showed signs of fever or medical concerns, the agency said. Now, according to state officials, passengers were released by the federal government and willingly chose to go to Chicago after signing a consent waiver. Willingly is a term I think they're using quite loosely considering these are people who just arrived in the country and are fearful. Also, we've been in so many stories before shown how they've been giving false information about what is waiting for them at the other end of the bus ride. They've been promised jobs, they've been promised places to stay. And so often these buses arrive and the recipient state doesn't even know that they're coming. So take that with a grain of salt, but from that statement, each bus is stocked with food and water, which are distributed on board and make stops along the trip to refuel and switch drivers. Migrants are allowed to purchase any additional provisions or disembark at any of these stops. Now, recently, Greg Abbott announced that over 4,600 migrants have been bused to Chicago in the past year, and unfortunately, this child is not even the first death because in May, an eight year old died while in custody of US Customs and Border Protection. An internal investigation into the child's death uncovered multiple failings by contracted personnel working at a federal border station in Harlingen, including failing to contact doctors despite the mother's pleas for help. We can and we will do better to ensure this never happens again, CPB Acting Commissioner Troy Miller said at the time of the investigation's release. Did they do better? Absolutely not. And Greg Abbott has failed these migrants. And I just, I believe that if they were not being routed to a city that isn't ready to receive them on these bus rides with no medical care, in the no medical personnel on staff, that this child probably could have received much better care. And Jackson, these stories are just so devastating because it is so absolutely preventable if we just provided better care for you know migrants coming to this country, especially when there's been so much, so much talk from the Republicans about you need to migrate the right way. These people did. These people followed the legal process of seeking asylum. They did it the right way, and they're still, you know, being treated as second-class citizens by, you know, these Republican governments. Well, and, and migrating the right way really just means I don't want to see as many of you people here. If if I don't have to see you, then that must mean that things are going according to plan. Um, but one of the things I always point out about how much of just pandering this is, pure pandering this is to an online base is because what difference are you really making in doing this? You're not stopping anybody from coming to the border. Only in the scheme of things, a few thousand people have been bused from Texas to other states, Texas to Martha's Vineyard, Texas to Chicago. Ron DeSantis has done the same thing. And again, the only people who are really pleased to see this are people who like to see the tabloids because otherwise this doesn't address the migrant issue whatsoever. There's way more people who come here on a daily basis than have been shipped from Texas anywhere else. And Greg Abbott seems to have a kink for just kind of being a cruel person, you know, whether it's stuff like this or like him signing legislation to where people who are in wheelchairs just like he is, you know, can't, no, let's not make it easier for them to vote. You know, if right. you're handicapped, you know, people fought, bled, and died for your right to vote. So you should bleed and die too on your way to the polls. I mean, so that's just kind of who Greg Abbott seems to be. But again, at the end of the day, this like you're not even you're not even putting a tiny dent 
in into how many people are coming here from the southern border. It's just for online clicks, nothing else. Right. I mean, then this is the guy who, during a historic heat wave, uh, repealed restru- uh, uh, repealed regulations that were in place to protect workers for and gave them like a t- fifteen minute break every four hours if they're working outside in the heat, and then people Into working out. That, right. <laughs> People literally died from working in the heat after that happened. I mean, this is like pure, pure distilled evil. For more political news breakdowns, interviews, stories of activism, and me trying my hardest to care about the occasional big celebrity news story, subscribe to our YouTube channel at youtube.com slash the damage report. And you can ring the bell wherever it is so you don't miss anything.